Am I wrong for hitting my autistic nephew with a metal skillet? I, a 26-year-old woman, have a brother who is 38 and has an autistic stepson named Tom, who is 20. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what his deal is. My sister-in-law claims he can't do anything at all, doesn't know what's happening and can't communicate. But my brother tells me that my sister-in-law just babies him. He says that at 20 years old, Tom has the mental capacity of a six-year-old, not a baby, like his wife insists. He is violent, and I want nothing to do with him. He consistently hits people and screams like a toddler when he doesn't get his way. He is rough with animals and frequently breaks furniture. I avoid my brother's wife and her son whenever it's possible. He has hit me before, hard. Tom is about six feet tall and probably weighs around 300 pounds. I'm five foot three and weigh 115. He had grabbed my cat and was pinning her down on the couch. I went over, telling him to knock that off and grab my cat, and he gave me a black eye. Every single one of us has been hit at least once and everyone is scared of him. We've stopped inviting my sister-in-law to things because even when we explicitly say Tom is not invited and to skip it if she can't find someone to watch him, she brings him anyway. I have been hit and grabbed dozens of times since my brother married this woman and I am done with him. I have the feeling my brother is too. He hasn't seemed happy in his marriage in years and has stopped making any effort to take his wife's side. My husband and I hosted a dinner to celebrate his promotion at work, and we invited the entire family minus my sister-in-law and her son. My brother was invited. My brother had shown up already, and the dinner was in full swing when guess who showed up at the door? My sister-in-law. I called my brother over to ask him to handle it. My sister-in-law completely ignored my brother and instead asked me how I could treat them like this. I told her exactly how I could treat them like this. Her horrible, violent excuse for a son has not only hurt me and my guests, he's destroyed property and traumatized animals. I didn't want him anywhere near my house. I told her she could either teach him to have some manners or live with the fact that she'd be excluded from every family event until she sent him to a facility. My sister-in-law said that she would not be excluded and that he'd listen and be good. My brother asked if they could just come in and that he'd babysit my nephew so I didn't have to worry. I looked my brother dead in the eye and said, if he touches me at all, I will hit him. And I meant every word. He nodded. My sister-in-law said that I wouldn't dare, and I left to go tend to other things. They were at the dinner for about a half hour when my brother told my sister-in-law to watch him closely while he went to the bathroom. I was in the kitchen and saw Tom get up and start walking towards me. I ignored him and continued what I was doing. Out of nowhere, he grabbed me by the hair and yanked me backwards and down while he screamed. I grabbed the closest thing to me, a heavy metal skillet, and swung as hard as I possibly could. I ended up bashing him in the face. He was taken to the emergency room by my brother and sister-in-law, and he ended up with two black eyes, several broken and missing teeth, a heavily bruised jaw, and needed stitches on his cheek. When I hit him, he let go and fell to the floor screaming and crying. I stood up and walked over to the sink to wash his blood off my skillet. My husband came over to make sure I was okay. My sister-in-law came running over in a screaming ball of anger, and my brother walked over in no hurry at all. Nobody else made any move to help Tom. My sister-in-law said every single thing under the sun about me being a bitch, and how could I hurt a disabled child, and that she'd sue me and call the cops on me. My brother just said that she should have watched him better and that he won't do that again. I told my sister to get out of my house and to never come here again. She told me that I'd pay for what I did. A few of our guests said that I probably didn't need to hit him that hard, but nobody else was actually upset. Neither am I. I'd do it again. I've gotten message after message from my sister-in-law and her family about how if I don't fork over the money to cover his medical costs, they'll sue me. That I'm a horrible person for assaulting a disabled kid and that I'll burn in hell. I don't regret what I did in the slightest. I'd do it again, in fact. Maybe I'll even counter sue for the cost of a new skillet since now mine is bent. We put down aggressive animals all the time. Why shouldn't I fight back when I'm assaulted by a violent human? Am I wrong for hitting my disabled nephew?